Oh, I am recording. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Isha, tuning in at TTB TV. Uh, right now, we're going to uh, react to or listen in to Shannon Sharp's uh, him addressing the altercation that happened at the Lakers Grizzly game. Now, I came across a video that um, had mentioned or like a, the caption of the video was like, did Shannon Sharp, should have, should Shannon Sharp have apologized? In my opinion, he didn't, he don't need to apologize. Um, I think that, I believe that, uh, what's his name? I forgot the dude's name. The first person that he got into the altercation with, uh, he should have reacted a little bit different. You get heckled all the time in sports. From what I under, from what I understand, the whole altercation happened because Shannon Sharp stated that he was too small for LeBron. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get the clip in this video if i do it'll be right here so i think he should have reacted a little bit differently and i it, it wouldn't have, like it wouldn't have escalated that far now his teammates hopping into it i understand that they were only trying to back him up and support him and that's what you should do uh you know what i'm saying that's team you know team Luckily, nothing else, you know, escalated from there. How T. Morant got involved, I'm not sure. But it was nice to see them dap it up and shake hands afterward. I don't know if that was afterward or before, but it was a, a photo on floating around Instagram on social media where it showed that, um, you know, T. Morant and Shannon Sharp were dapping it up. But I honestly don't think Shannon Sharp owes anybody an apology for this altercation that happened let's see let's listen in let y'all hear this i want to turn the floor over to you i know there's something you want to say yes thanks jen um as you probably have heard or have seen friday night um at the lakers game friday I okay for my behavior um you know guys i've preached for the last six and a half years responsibility and accountability and i take full responsibility for what transpired it does not matter what dylan brooks said or how many times he said it me being the responsible person me having the platform that i have and having so many people look up to me i was wrong i should have lowered the temperature in the arena instead i turned the temperature up i respect him for that i respect him for that see his respect points will just shot up through the roof off the back of that like for somebody with his platform with his uh notability um and fame for him to come out and apologize for his actions and how he reacted and how he should have been the bigger person and actually de-escalated the situation i i, I commend him for that and I let it get out of hand. And I want to apologize to a few people. First of all, I want to apologize to the Lakers organization, Jeannie Buzz, the Buzz family. I apologize for any harm or unwanted attention that I brought to your organization. I want to apologize to the fans that were in attendance and the fans that watched on television because that's not what you paid for and that's not what you tuned in to watch. Shannon Sharp should have been mentioned as, a, as someone that was at the game, not someone that let his emotions run high and get out of hand mm. during the game. I want to apologize to the mm. Memphis Grizzlies. Grizzlies, uh, organization and fans, I am sorry. More specifically, I want to apologize to Dylan Brooks. He is a fierce Dylan competitor. Brooks. And seeing him up close, I get a sense of why he is what he is and how he's wired the way he's wired. Bro, I apologize. I wish you the best of luck the, uh, the rest of the season and continue success. Ja, it was a privilege and an honor to watch you up close and personal. Skip and I talk about you a lot of times, but to see what you do, the way you're able to elevate, lead the floor, contort your body, and finish at the rim is, is, is unbelievable and, and extremely impressive. And I want to apologize to you. I also want to apologize to my stylist, Hollywood. Bro, you had an impeccable record before you took me on as a client. 
and I want to apologize for my behavior because you were in attendance. And if I cause any smudge on your resume, I'm deeply sorry for that. I also want to apologize to LeBron James because y'all know how I feel about him. And he supported me through thick and thin. And bro, I'm sorry that I put you in this situation, that you had to support me in something like this. So I want to apologize to you. I want to apologize to my family. I want to apologize to my brother, my sister, my mom, my kids, and my grandson. Because one day you're going to be old enough and you're going to see what transpired in that arena. But I also hope you get an opportunity to see this, this apology that I'm giving. Because I was wrong. And I'm never going to be too big to say I'm sorry. Mm. I'm never going to be mm. too big too big to say that I was wrong. Mm -hmm. And in that situation, I was absolutely wrong. And people and need to be okay with that, apologize. man. It ain't, it ain't, it's okay to not, to be human, nine, man. We make mistakes say, all the time. Again, make mistakes family, all the time. Guys, Being able to own up to them is huge. I your way, and I, I hate that, that you have to answer. No one should have to trend because of something that I did. So I want to apologize to anybody at Fox or FS1 that had to answer questions on my behalf. What happened to Shannon? Why was Shannon doing this? I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm not perfect. I am not. Yeah, and I'm never going to say perfect. that I wasn't Shannon Sharp because that was me. That was just me getting out of character. And I'm sorry for all those that saw my actions and took offense to my actions. That I was right. me. That was, ooh, y'all catch that, Jim? That was me. That was just me getting out of character. Oh, my God. That was a gem. Like, everybody be like, well, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. I ain't, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who, where that came from. Um, but with that being said, this is, this is, you know, my reaction to this again. I still don't think, in my opinion, I think it's big of him that he did it, you know, but as a professional athlete and have to did you deal with heckling and maybe, you know, it was just a boil over, but you deal with heckling all the time. Um, and I, I mean, I get, hey, I guess uh, if Shannon Sharp didn't respond back with the, they was going back and forth saying the same thing back to each other, uh, from what I understand. So I guess if he wouldn't have kept saying it back and forth and would have let it be what it, what it was after, you know, he made the statement of him being too small for LeBron, then it, it may not have es escalated. But hey, that's that should have could have would have, um, but. Huge shout out to Shannon Sharp for you know addressing and apologizing for his actions. Um, and yeah, we'll see, we'll see what goes on. You guys have a blessed one as always. Everything is motivation. Peace. 2023, here we go yet again. Stomping on you bitches like your motherfucking friend. Sound kind of crazy, it's the closest in the end. Keep something tough, 380 in the wind. Square the bitch once, 20 rounds, get the M. Staying real humble, ain't give me what I want. Gotta pop my shit to take what I'm owed.